Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So yeah, uh, let me start by launching my SQL. And there you go. So yeah, for those who are new here, my name is Stacy. I'm a data analyst and I also create content around data from tutorials in SQL, tutorials in Python, to start creating tutorials in a BI tool and also start talking about the statistics needed for data analysis. And I really cannot wait to start like story time, like telling you guys how I landed my first data role, what worked for me, what didn't work, what skills, soft skills do you need, ETC. But yeah, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you guys how to, <clears throat> uh, to import an Excel CSV file onto MySQL. So this is the beginning of a very long SQL series that I'm super excited about. So yeah, stay to the end of the video where I will talk more about this series that I am very excited about. So yeah, let's start. So you've opened your MySQL should look something like this, uh, click here. So please note, I'm not going to show you guys how to install and download in case you don't already have my SQL. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to link a tutorial that helped me install and download my SQL. So you can just follow that tutorial and download what you need to download. And then, yeah, come here, come back. We continue with this tutorial. So yeah, uh, oh, we're already at schema. So there's administration and the schema. So as you can see, we have two databases here, country data and SYS. So country data is something that I put here. SYS comes with my SQL. So now we want to introduce a new database. So what do you do? Come to this icon. So create a new schema, click on it. So once you click on it, you need to name it. So we can name ours YT data, yeah. So yeah, let me just move this huh. and then click on apply, apply again, then finish. Notice we only had two databases before. Now we have three. We also have YT data, but let's click on it. As you can see, the table is empty. When you click on it, nothing. Plus something that can help you tell that it's empty is this arrow. It's not there. There's nothing next to the tables. So this is the point where we are going to a bring in our CSV file. So right click, then come to table data, import wizard, then browse to the location of your data. So make sure your data is in CSV. As you can see, mine is Microsoft Excel comma separated value file. Yeah, so double click on it. Uh, there you go. Uh, let's just move this up and next. Mm -hmm. Drop table, if it exists, please check that. And next again. So yeah, let's just next again, give it a couple of seconds. Uh, next again, and finally finish. And yeah, that's it. So the next thing you can do is it still looks like there's nothing on this table. So come in, right click again, then click on refresh all. So as you can see, our country data tutorial is on here. So if you want to see what's in it, just click on this icon and voila. So maybe we can do something like limit 10. Okay, let's do limit three. Sorry, I'm so used to click on the thunder looking thing and there you go. So <clears throat> uh, how this works is if you were to check this, Control copy, control paste, and let's say now we want limit one. When you click on run, I'll just call it run, execute here, yeah? it will run the last batch of code yeah? So if you want to run a specific batch of code, you need to highlight it. So now when you run this, you get three outputs instead of one. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to import your CSV onto Microsoft SQL so that you can be able to access your data from, get your data from wherever, get it onto your machine, put it onto MySQL and start practicing your SQL. So for this specific data set, I got it from Kaggle, download it on my machine, make, downloaded it on my machine, make sure it's on CSV format. Yeah, and you can follow the steps that I just showed you, have it on your machine and start 
practicing your SQL. And yeah, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Now I can tell you guys about the SQL series that I am super excited about. For those of you who are very new to this channel or haven't watched any of my very old videos on like, you know, what does a data analyst actually do? My journey as uh, someone from a non-technical background getting into data analysis, uh, you probably don't know that I learned data analysis using Python, but I ended up in a role, like my first ever data role used a lot of SQL. So it forced me to really, you know, put in the time, put in the work and take my SQL skills to like a hundred, you know, and SQL is something I love. SQL is something I use a lot. SQL is something that has helped me solve problems that I thought are very complex. Like SQL is so powerful, you guys. And yeah, I cannot wait to share this skill with you people. So what's going to be in this series? We're going to cover, um, we're going to start with basic SQL. We're going to do intermediate, mm -hmm. advanced. So we're going to cover mm -hmm. concepts like SQL select, where from, limit, how do you use distinct? Why is distinct such an important thing? What's the difference between where and having? We're going to look into the various types of joins. What's the difference between an inner join, a left join, a right join? We're going to cover more advanced concepts such as subqueries, CTEs, Windows functions. I've, like you guys, I think I'm addicted to Windows functions. Like, <laughs> like most, like whatever I have, I need to come up with like create transform data, create some new metric, yeah. My mind always goes to Windows functions, CTEs, like those two are like my best friends. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited about this. I cannot wait to share this knowledge with you. So yeah, if there's anything uh, that you really want me to talk about, anything you want me to cover and teach you guys, please put it down in the comments below. So I'll go through the comments and just counter check with what I have and make sure it's there in case it's up there, I'm going to include it. Otherwise, feel free to also, you know, like, share this video with anyone who will find this helpful. And yeah, subscribe. Let's stay together, you know, stay tuned as I keep creating this content. You, I mean, yeah, this content, <laughs> this various SQL uh, tutorials, you'll be informed. And guys, I am very excited. I hope you're excited too. I hope you get massive value from me. And uh, something else I forgot to mention is, yes, we're going to cover the tutorials, but we're also going to be building projects. I want to do like three to four projects uh, with SQL. Some of them will just be SQL. Some of them I'm going to combine like SQL and a BI tool, and I cannot wait to show you guys, like after we've done all these concepts, we build a project and we see how do these various SQL concepts come together to, you know, in a project, how do we visualize this data? How do we create a dashboard and communicate this information to various stakeholders so that they're able to make data-driven decisions? Otherwise, that's it from me, guys. Really excited, hope you're excited to, you know, smash the like button if you're as excited as me feel free to comment down below and do not forget to subscribe also note i have a bunch of python tutorials for anyone who's interested in learning python i have a tutorial covering various python concepts i've uploaded one python project part one part two so if you, yeah if you're interested in that go check it out oh i enjoyed that project like the data cleaning was flowing, the data visualization. I had so much to show you people, but I was like, you know what? <laughs> let's let's start with this. Then we can do another project and show you all these, a lot of things that I'm really excited about. I really don't know why it took so long to start a YouTube channel. Like, I'm loving it. Anyway, guys, now, bye. <laughs> For real. Uh, so yeah, see you in... The next video, which will be introduction to the basics of SQL. Bye.